Hey YouTube, All right. look what we got here. I went ahead and got me one of these six-in-one mini machines. And, um, you know, I set it up. Primarily I got this for the lathe part of it. But behind it is the box. So right there is the six-in-one uh, machine. So um, I haven't really messed with anything else. Like I said, I got it for the lathe part of it. Um, you know, and that's really all I'm really messing with. And, and uh, you know, it might be great for the other stuff too, but I can just tell you about the lathe. So um, I got that straightened around. So I got it set up kind of in a uh, little breakfast tray or something like that. And um, I got this to see if I can do small air gun mods, see if I can... You know, do stuff to valves and 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 um, just see what it what it's capable of, and um, it's actually not too shabby. Now, the first thing I got was this uh, four jock chuck here. You know, and I I got the three jock chuck right there. So and that's nice. I mean, you know, um, the four jock chuck just allows me to indicate stuff in, and you know. Um, and that's really nice too. And then, um, of course, I had to have a um, a control to a speed control. So I, I went ahead and ordered that, and I hooked that all up. I've never messed with a speed control before, so you know, needless to say, I got online and figured out what I needed, and and I ordered, you know, what I thought would be best, and it's actually working out pretty good. So you know, and it could turn on and. And, and it gives you some control over how fast you're going and and what all you're doing and um, it's really nice you know it, it's it's a lot nicer than I thought it'd be actually it, it kind of you know like I said I'm I've got it I've got some metal down here and I bolted it to my uh, little tray and and it's pretty solid you know and um, I made me a little drill chuck, you know, it didn't come with anything in the drill, which I've not used this yet, I've, I've, I've drilled everything by other means, so, you know, I but I did make that up to where I had it, and, you know, but um, any drilling I had to do, I, I done figured something else out, and, okay guys, I started to cut here, let's, uh, let me fire this thing up for you, and, um, well, first, let's put this in perspective, so I got this little clip that let me slip in here, and I'll show you this. All right, so now that's kind of you know what we're dealing with. So you know it's uh, it is what it is, but it's it's actually uh, not too shabby. So let's fire this thing up and let's do some cutting. I already started a little bit. You know, it's, it's taken a pretty heavy cut uh, for as small as it is, and actually it ain't doing too bad. I mean, you know, it is what it is, but I'm actually pretty happy with this, you know. It's kind of more than what I thought it'd be. I mean, okay, you know, it's a small, tiny, little bitty, mostly plastic lathe, so, you know, there we are, but uh, it's doing pretty good, actually. So, you know, and I... I I think I could really do pretty good mods with this. It's just on the little stuff. And, and you know, it's really going to be, I think, all right. So, you know, and like I said, I got that speed control. Got me a four jaw shut, you know. So it, it's really, um, it's okay. Okay, guys, let's do a close-up of this. And um, that way you guys can see kind of what's going on.
All right, I want to make it up here to the end of it. Right there, you see that little piece? There we go. All right, let's back it all and let's stop it. So, that way you see kind of what was going on. To give you some perspective on, you know, how big it is. And let's back that off a little bit more and get that then tips out of the way. So, all right, so there we are. So, you know, like I said, it is what it is. Okay, guys, so I backed it off now. We finished the cut. Um, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. And uh, let me see here. I think I'm going to take this piece here, and I'm going to put it under the, the spindle right here. And uh, jack it up a little bit and, and show you how I did some drilling before I had a drill chuck. So, you know, not that I've used it yet, but anyway. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I'm real happy with that four jaw chuck I've got for it. And the speed controller, this little deal right here, I think it's, was it 12 volts to 40 volts DC, uh, 3 amps or something? Yeah, I think it's 3 amps. The motor is 12 volts, 2 amps. So this was you know this would work and what i found online and and like i said the big deal with 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 this here is that um when you hook up the positive and negative out of the power control right here you've got to be real careful to hook them up right if you hook up backwards it'll fry the little board in there or something like that anyway and you, you just got to watch what you're doing on that part of it and that was really the only deal with this little uh controller that you got to watch like i said i didn't know much about controllers but it you know it has a little reverse right here which i've never used it um i guess maybe i'll might need it one day but you know it's there I, I, it's nice to have it i guess and the controller is really cool so you know and uh like i said and and you're going to need some um you know you know something to measure with you know you, you've got to have you know you've got to have something to to measure with then you know and that way you can kind of do some cool stuff but um anyway let me swap this up a little bit and let me show you um what i need to be modding on this particular deal right here okay guys so we've got i got it straightened around here now um let's take this off and let me show you what we're going to do. And like I said, I've drilled like this the whole time I've had this. So I've got a colic here that come with blade. And this is millimeter. I'm not really sure what size it is, but it's fixing to be um, 1 16th. So what I do is I take a piece of paper and slide in the edge of that the best I can and that way when I start drilling it won't collapse on itself as in when I get done drilling and I take all this apart it will be uh, a sixteenth and I could clamp down on a sixteenth uh, drill bed or whatever I decide to put in there. So I stick it in there like I said the best that I can alright there we go and then this goes up in there like that and now my nut goes on here and let me see here Tighten it all up. There we 
go. There we go. Now then, all right, got that all straightened out. And uh, so I added this spacer, and then I moved all this around. I don't know if you could see that that well. Let's move the camera. All right, so, yeah, there we go. So you can see that I, I made this, or I got this piece right here, and I had to drill that out right there. I had to move that hole over to fit on this to where this would bolt up vertical, and then I just took my clamp and put it on there, and that way I can move it in and out and back and forth. So I'll show you what the idea is here. Now then, I put in the drill bit, and I try to keep it as straight as possible. There we go. I try to keep it straight this way and this way, and that way, um, all I gotta do is turn it in, and I can adjust it in and out and up and down to whatever I need to do. Okay, I think I got it switched around here, so let's try drilling it. See how it goes. Now, like I said, I've got the drill lined up this way and this way the best I can with this right here, and then I can move it around. So the, the main deal is getting it this way in the vise. And that way it's it's straight and it'll follow the existing hole pretty decently so you know it's going to be uh, pretty close to true when this is all said and done so uh, let's get started with it so let me fire this thing up All this, um, all of them at one, and I think I left a six millimeter. It seems like the end mill that come in this little pack was a six millimeter. So uh, let me move all this out of the way, and we'll take it out and look at it. Okay, and there it is. So I took all my little pieces of paper out, and there that is, kind of, and I've got all the pieces out so we can stick the drill bit in here and uh, see if it'll fit in there alright and let's put it in the machine and tighten it up a little bit There we go. All right, so that's drilled out a sixteenth, so I can put any thing I got sixteenth, or I can make it even bigger. So, you know, and there we are. So, and that's the idea here. Now, the reason I did this was for. Um, let me show you here. Okay. All right, this is 187 aluminum. It's 3 sixteenths aluminum, and this would be perfect for a uh, bolt probe on an air rifle. So you're starting to see the idea here. So I can put it in here. There we go. Put it in my colic. Just like that, and I can turn a little bolt probe on that. And that way I can do my a uh, little bit of my air gun modding. And uh, have that. But I got various sizes 
so that way I kind of got a variety and like I said I can always make them bigger or, or what I never whatever I need to do so uh, there it is guys now uh, there is one other thing before I go this is the four jaw chuck and this is the three jaw chuck now you know they're virtually the same size one's a three jaw and one's a four jaw now the thing about this is these things are heavy like steel like they're made of steel but they're soft like they're made of aluminum but uh, that's actually zinc and zinc's kind of heavy like steel but soft like aluminum so the idea is if I put steel in these jaws other than uh, let's say opposed to aluminum or brass the steel will really eat these jaws up because they're not really that hard so this piece of aluminum here is fine you know it's like aluminum on aluminum but actually this is aluminum and this is zinc so anyway but I just thought I'd let you guys know that, that these are these may be heavy like steel but they're not steel they're they're actually zinc so anyway with all that um, thanks for watching guys